welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching and if you please please like and subscribe make sure to hit that like button for the algorithm so that we get more views i appreciate you um and i'd like to get right into it um number one the number one thing that uh, is a bad habit that i myself would like to get rid of is to stop smoking yes it's a bad habit it's horrible my family hates it and um, my husband he doesn't accept it but he actually tolerates it um, and I am not a huge smoker maybe one pack will last me for about two days so um, but it's it's a horrible habit it smells um it it's discoloring my teeth and they're hard to deal with but um yeah that is a number one thing that i would like to get rid of myself to be healthy for the year 2020 and uh in order to do that i'm not sure if i'll be able to go to cold turkey with that but I'm gonna work on it. This is the year that I'm gonna totally get rid of it for good. And I'm gonna do that for my health, for my family. And um, maybe you have that journey to go on as well. I know I've been smoking since I was younger from time to time. And there's been a lot of times when I've quit for you know years or months, but then something drastic happens and I start back up. So we're going to end that journey for good in 2020. Okay, for 2020, I plan to change up our finances. And in order to do so, I got these handy money um, cash envelopes to do our um, savings and expenses and all of that. So I did get some of those. And let me just show you a little bit. It's very practical. It shows you the description. It's cardboard, so it's kind of flexible. And it has dates and budget and actual spending. So I've got those to help with our spending. And um, I plan to put money in those every every week or so. You know, some, some jobs I get paid daily and some jobs I get paid um, on a bi-weekly basis. So I'll be able to stuff those envelopes and change up our savings situation and our finances for this year. 2020 is going to be a year of success so in order to do that you have to be prepared the stop eating fast food now i'm not going to say totally stop because that's unrealistic but slowing down with fast food consumption and kind of doing it on a need to need basis obviously you don't need to eat fast food on a daily basis it's just not healthy for you but you know there are going to be those times when time is very short you want to feed your family and you order a pizza or you hurry up and grab some burgers so I'm not going to say totally that's going to be cut out from our bad habits because I think that doing it on an occasional basis instead of a very frequent basis is much healthier um, in the long run. So just keep that to a minimum and um, we'll, we'll work that out. The next thing on our list is drinking more water and that's very important me myself i like to add mixes to my water to you know make it more flavorful 
but I mean that can add calories and everything else so I plan to drink more just water just plain water instead of adding the drink mixes and all that good stuff um, I did switch from regular soda when I do have a soda to a diet version which is much better so you know less sugar less all the other stuff and um, but I plan to kind of delete even the diet soda for a while and just stick with water just stick with water it'll clear up your skin you will feel more healthy your body can kind of get rid of all the toxins and everything else so water 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 that's the plan another thing on my list is to you know we all have that mindset when money is short oh I'm poor or everything's just not working out for me right now you know my family is is in poverty or or you know something like that but that mindset actually keeps you in the hole instead of helping you dig yourself out so my plan to cut that bad habit is to stop saying the word poor you're not poor you're actually just broke at the moment and broke is better than poor because you know broke is something that's some that only happens on a slower basis and I know, I know I'm not finding the right words but you get the gist of it instead of saying you're poor saying you're broke is actually something that you can overcome more being poor is a state of mind being broke is just something that that's happened to you that week for instance does that make more sense um and you know that i i found that not thinking so much that there's a money issue actually helps much more i found that because i haven't been in that mindset of being poor or being in poverty or not having money if if i think to myself especially before i go to bed you know i am important i am abundant i have money to pay my bills and i have money for my wants and needs and i thank the universe or thank god and thank you know whoever or whatever um, it actually has changed my mindset to where I'm able to save a little bit more money. I feel like I'm, I'm making more money. I feel like I can provide more for my family. So that is very important to change your mindset. And do this little project at night before you go to bed. Say to yourself that you are abundant. You have money for for this or that or you have money to to buy that thing that you want to buy you have that money already and even if you don't have that money already but if you just say to yourself I have this I have that it actually change your mindset and watch how fast it actually comes to you that you have that money to to buy that thing that you want or to pay that bill that you need to pay and it's very important see see how it changes your life basically and uh, let me know in the comments below um, how this has changed you or how this has, has worked in your favor and um, now I can add extra things to this list, um, like changing up how you do your, your routines, getting up earlier every morning, 
um, even if it's like five or ten minutes earlier you'll find that you have just a little bit more time to get ready you're a little bit more focused you're a little bit more uh, awake and ready for your day um, another thing that is very important um, at least to me and my family is being able to declutter more there's so much stuff our house is not very small it's not a beautiful house it's not you know um, a Pinterest worthy house but it, it is our home and we want to keep it nice and everything else in order, order to do that we need to declutter more and get rid of things that we don't use and everything else and that's something that we want to get done in 2020 as well is to declutter and make our home more pleasant for us to live in maybe put yourself on a decluttering schedule and declutter one room at a time um, take it slow put down uh, what you'd like to do for decluttering make a list and stick to the list do one room at a time so it's not so overwhelming and um, you'll tackle the one room at a time and at the end of the year you'll have a less cluttered home and you'll be more focused to do other things and another thing is to maybe maybe you want to lose weight I know I do I started a diet uh, last year and lost 30 pounds and then unfortunately I stopped doing it and gained 20 so yeah it's time to get back on the on the wagon and you know lose weight for good this time by cutting out certain foods you'll be able to do so and um, see how how fast those changes are made for you I hope that all of these bad habits that you're able to kick for 2020 I hope this brings a big change to your life and in the comments below leave me a comment I love to hear all of your words and all of your suggestions if you have a suggestion for the next video please leave that below as well and 2020 will be the year of success keep that in your mind the year of success is 2020 and we'll be working that journey together as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already Blessings.